Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The first issue in the new Greg Park Darth Vader series was just released and man oh man what an introductory issue for the new series. When I finished the issue I said to myself damn now that is a Star Wars comic. If you're a Darth Vader fan you will absolutely like this issue. There were some hefty bits of information that we got from the issue including an intriguing scene with someone that Darth Vader believes is Padme. So let's dive into it. The issue opens following the ending of The Empire Strikes Back and we see Darth Vader contemplating the events that transpired on Cloud City and his duel with Luke Skywalker. Vader is clearly conflicted by their encounter and is still processing what occurred between him and Luke as we see he's playing back the events in his head, mentioning that Luke is his son, that he's strong but he's also weak. We see Darth Vader is presumably aboard his Super Star Destroyer, the Executor, and several Death Troopers have prepared an Imperial shuttle for him to set off somewhere. Before he can leave, however, a forensics droid by the name of Z67, who we learn is trained in all aspects of data retrieval, collection, and analysis, reports to Vader to assist him in his upcoming journey. From there, we see Vader reconfigure Z67's motivator so that it'll self-destruct if Z67 informs anyone of their mission, as Vader does not want the Emperor or any Imperial commanders to know what he's doing on this mission, which is ultimately to track down everyone who hid Luke Skywalker from him and, in Vader's mind, those who made Luke weak and destroy them. They then set out for Luke and Anakin Skywalker's home world of Tatooine. As they are getting ready to enter Tatooine, Tatooine's atmosphere, two members of an unknown gang, possibly the Harlock gang, see the Imperial shuttle and think they found an easy target to rob. Boy are they mistaken. This might be a possible connection to issue 2 of the Charles Soule Star Wars comic series which I talked about in a previous video so make sure to check that out. From there, Vader arrives at the Lars homestead and Z67 mentions that this is the home of Klieg Lars and Shmi Skywalker, divulging additional information about the Lars family and that Owen and Beru adopted Luke, prompting Vader to recall various moments from his days as Anakin Skywalker on Tatooine such as the moment where Anakin was taken from his mother to join the Jedi Order and when Anakin came back to Tatooine to find his mother and spoke to Owen Lars and Beru. As Vader and Z67 continue to rummage through the homestead, Vader recalls several moments from his days as Anakin Skywalker. The moment where Padme approached Anakin as he's repairing something right after he had slaughtered the Sand People. Him telling Padme how he killed their entire village. He also recalls what Yoda told him, that anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. As well as the moment where Padme pleaded with Anakin before his duel with Obi-Wan on Mustafar, which in turn makes him think about Luke. I absolutely love this scene so freaking much. Seeing Vader recall moments that we all know from the movie when he was still Anakin was so powerful and so poignant for me. It shows just how far Anakin fell, how Vader is becoming conflicted in his thoughts and his emotions, how deep that wound of Padme's death still is for him, and that Luke is the only thing he has of Padme that's left. He knows his actions led to Padme's death and is seeing parallels between Padme's demise in Luke. We're seeing the very infant stages of Anakin's return to the light side here, and I love that. That conflict in Vader, his love for Padme, and the pain that he's caused following her death, and the fact that the last sliver of love and hope he sees in life is in his son. That will forever be one of the most impactful elements of the story of the Skywalker saga for me. And I love how great of a job this comic does in conveying that. I also would like to point out that I loved that Z67 comments on Luke's lubrication vat and that even though he's an enemy of the Empire, he knew how to care for his droids. All of these thoughts and emotions, however, cause Vader to erupt in anger, now wanting to lash out violently against those who hid his son from him and made him weak. This is Vader's way of processing and handling the grief and pain he feels about Padme's death and the absence of his son all these years, to lash out violently. Outside the homestead, Z-67 is then able to detect Klieg Lars and Shmi Skywalker's buried caskets and headstones, resulting in Vader unleashing a force wave that throws Z-67 aside while Vader recalls the moment he laid his mother to rest where he promised her he'd be strong enough to one day not fail again. 
At this point, the two gang members from earlier then soon appear, now with some reinforcements, and Vader is able to find an outlet for his violent urges and brutally kills all four of them. From there, Vader then heads to Coruscant to inspect Padme's apartment, which has been sealed since her death, and Z-67 finds a scout transmitter. He's able to discover that it's transmitting back to what appears to be a rebel base on the planet Vendaxa, which is being overrun by the planet's native population of these like vicious arachnids of sorts. Vader soon arrives and makes short work of the beasts, but sees something that is almost unbelievable. Padme. And that's where the issue ends. By the maker, what an issue, guys. I loved everything about this story. It was seriously incredible. My guess as to who Vader sees at the end of the issue is most likely one of Padme's former handmaidens. As we know, Padme had numerous handmaidens that looked just like her, and they were all more than capable of fighting as they were trained in self-defense and marksmanship to serve as Padme's bodyguards, but I guess we'll have to wait and see until issue 2 is released on March 11th. I can't wait to see where the story goes from here. It was fantastic. But what did you guys think of this issue? Who do you think Darth Vader sees at the end? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's on Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.